I'm calling an emergency meeting. Melanated. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Morning Tea. My name is Wahima, but just call me Wah. Today's tea is Ice Bulvarian Cream Tea by the Mountain Witch Tea Company, and I am calling an emergency meeting. Stacy Dash, y'all. Stacy Dash. I feel like every time something happens, it's either Whoopi, Raven, Stacy, or some Cosby old nonsense that comes through. One of these people come through and say something that either I wholeheartedly disagree with or is pandering to a community that does not care about us. Let's break down what she said. We have to make up our minds. Either we want segregation or integration. Stacy, Stacy, segregation is over. It's no longer a law of the land. So no one is talking about segregation or going back to segregation except for the radical Afrocentric. I don't know how to say the word, black people. It's already gone, so thank you. Thank you, we've already established that. We need to get rid of channels like BET, BE Awards, and Image Awards. Like, no we don't, Stacey. That's the only way black people get acknowledged, okay? Like, honestly, you, you have to know you're an actress. You're a beautiful actress on the D list that like, couldn't make it in Hollywood. And if you, beautiful and Eurocentric featured woman, could not make it into Hollywood, what's the hopes for any of the rest of us? You're talentless, but that has nothing to do with the, there are plenty of talentless people in Tinseltown making tons of money. And another thing, Stacey, I mean, you are very privileged and I appreciate that. I understand your play. You don't know what it's like, but not all of us wake up in the morning to drink the Kool-Aid out of our Starbucks cup with the American flag on it. Um, we're American? Yes, we are American, but we're not treated as the status quo America. We're not celebrated. They don't talk about all the achievements that black people, African-American people have contributed to American history. We don't get taught how African-Americans added to the American landscape. Not at all. They barely talk about the genocide of the Native American people. They barely talk about the Chinese. They barely talk about the Japanese internment camps. They really just focus on what white people did and how awesome they were in doing it. If they talked about the achievements and the great things that people of color have done in this country, if they talked more about what evils the status quo has done in this country. I honestly do not know how there are people who are deep down bone patriots when they have been affected by the way the status quo has treated their people throughout history. BET was founded as a response to the fact that black people weren't represented on television. You get work from BET, girl. Like, don't say BET needs to go away. You wouldn't have had any job in 2009 if it wasn't for BET. I'm a game player. I think it makes sense to play the game to get where you need to go so you can affect change once you get there. There are some times when we need to celebrate ourselves because we won't be celebrated as Americans. If we were celebrated as Americans, there wouldn't be any need for affirmative action. There wouldn't be any need for the Image Awards, the BET Awards, the Hip Hop Honor Awards. If there was diversity and equalness in the fabric of our country, we wouldn't need these things. So for you to say that all we need to do is, because I, what I hear when she says these things is basically the Bill Cosby argument, right? All we need to do is pull up our pants and do our hair and get a job and they'll accept us and they'll treat us as Americans. No, they won't because we've pulled up our pants, we've done our hair, we've changed the way we speak, we've moved in the suburbs, we made the same amount, we're CEOs, we're scientists, we're inventors, we're all these things yet we are still not recognized. But I hate that Fox and Friends and all these Fox News networks like shows try to like bring on all these black people who don't feel the oppression that is clearly all around them and then say, look, your oppression isn't real. No, she's in the minority of black people who don't have any issues. It's not gonna happen, Stacey. No matter what we do, and there are white people who are like, well, we don't get a white day parade. What? Every day is a white day parade. Every day is a celebration of the status quo and the majority. And if I were a part of the status quo or the majority, I would find no fault in that. But there are people who don't belong to that.
and they want to be celebrated and as human and treated as thus. And we're not gonna get that acceptance from the status quo, so we have to make that ourselves. We have to celebrate ourselves. Okay guys, that's all I have to say about this. I didn't want it to come off of a, as a rant. I didn't want it to come off as angry, but I did anyway, so my bad. Okay guys, if you would like to add to this conversation, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic week.